Going through the mail here, wasn't paying. It's all right, Hoss. I ain't got no time for no chit chat, though. What's the matter? You got trouble? Not if I find him first, and there's his rig. Whose rig? That Lothario Larkin is back in town. Lothario Larkin? Well, I'll be doggo. Who would have figured old Lothario could have ever afforded a rig like this? Gonna mean I see that coot again. The only place you're gonna see him is in my jail. When I find him. Oh, now, Roy, there ain't nothing wrong with Lothario. He's a pretty nice fella. He's just maybe a little too friendly. <laughs> I told him the last time I threw him out of town. When he comes back, it's going to be to a nice, safe jail cell. You got any idea where he's at? Well. Does that answer your question? Come on. See that, Roy? Picking that stuff up? He's changed. You want to bet? Ladies, now that everything is peaceful and quiet, will you join me at the bar? <laughs> you haven't oh. changed a bit! <laughs> Hoss! Hey! Compadre! <laughs> Come in, Hoss! Hi there, Lothario. <laughs> oh, bigger and prettier than ever, Hoss. Well, uh, thank you, Lothario. You look pretty good yourself. Uh, you're right prosperous like. Oh, I am. I got me a little gold mine over in California. As a matter of fact, uh, I've been doing so good, I decided to come over here and take a little vacation and uh, hmm, renew old friendships. <laughs> Mr. Larkin, the only old friendships you're going to renew is through the bars in one of my jail cells. Now, I told you last time you was here, you come back, I'd throw you in jail. Oh, Roy. All right, then I'll give him his choice. In the jail or out of the town, one. Uh, too bad, Hoss. Their gentleman friends decide to leave very suddenly, and we, we could have had ourselves a nice party. <laughs> no, thank you, Lothario. Oh, Hoss, that reminds me. I owe you something. You remember the last time Roy throwed me out of town? You staked me? Oh, you don't have to do that, Lothario. No, I want to give it back to you. I'm rich. Besides, I owe you a lot more than money, Hoss. Lothario. Time is a-wasting. Well, you ladies might just as well spend this yourselves. Looks like I'm leaving. Oh, but Lothario, you just got here. But like he said, he's just leaving. Now, come on. Oh, oh. means I got to take another long ride. I hurt my back coming in yesterday in this tussle, and... Hoss, can you see anything? I'm... It feels like a muscle spasm or something. If it's a muscle spasm, you need some liniment on it. Uh -huh. hey. You know, if you could make it out to the Bondarosa, you could spend the night tonight and then get a fresh start in the morning. Oh. Oh, Hoss, that sounds just wonderful. I, I'd get to see your pa again and the brothers, and and it wouldn't make my trip seem near so wasted. Yeah, well, what about it, Roy? So long as he's out of Virginia City. <laughs> oh, Hoss, uh, I, I just remembered there's uh, something I got to pick up before I go out, so... Why don't you go ahead, and then I'll come out later, all right? Roy? All right. Do what you have to do, but be on your way in a half hour, you hear? I promise, Sheriff. I promise. It's him, isn't it? It's really him. What's the matter, Laura? Does he bring back regrets? No, but let's get away from here. I. money in the action is here, we stay just as long as it's profitable. And Laura. Don't get any ideas. For his sake, understand?
Ross, how could you do it? How could you do it? How could you let Lothario loose in Virginia City again? Paul, he gave me his word of honor that he was going to stay out of trouble. Now, he just wanted to pick up something, that's all. Oh, she's like an old cougar. A cougar's got no honor. Look, maybe something happened to him. Yeah. Yeah, something nice. Something romantic. Little brother, you got a mighty suspicious mind. Yeah, when it comes to Lothario, you bet I do. Look, uh... Well, I, I better get started. Adam's gonna be looking for me. Be back in a couple of days when we have all those wild horses hobbled. You just sit right down again, young man. We're gonna need you more than Adam does. We're gonna be mighty unpopular people around here unless we can keep that Lothario hobbled. Hey! We're here! Start hobbling. Wasn't lying, he picked up some. Oh no, it's Meg Jones. Her old man will kill him. Ah, uh, Ben. Mario. <laughs> Joe, hey, it's Mario. good to see Hi, you, Meg. fellas. Oh, it seems like it's been a million years, huh? Yeah, well, it seems just like yesterday to me, Lothario. I hope we ain't late for dinner. We're hungrier than a whale in a minute pond. Oh, Ben, I, uh, I brought a beautiful rose to decorate your dinner table. Yeah, you sure did, Lothario. Uh, excuse me, mm -hmm. excuse me. Uh, Meg? Does your, does your pa know that you're out buggy riding with Lothario? No, but he can't stop me. I'm of age. Yeah, uh, well, uh, I guess you are, um... I think it might be best if Horse was to take you home what? right now, young lady. No. Oh, wait a minute, Ben. What? What, what are you talking about? This is kind of discourteous, I said. Discourteous, rude, and uncivilized. Lothario? Oh, no, Ben. Now, wait. Now, wait. No. My goodness gracious. Now, come on now. All I can say is you cartwrights are mighty high handed. Well, I'll talk to you after that. Oh, now, Meg, you ain't got no call to be so dad burn sore at me. It's just like Paul said. You ain't got no business running around with a man like Lothario Larkin, no Al. Why, he's broke more hearts than half. Why, you sanctimonious bag of wind, why don't you shut up? Yeah, just figuring on doing that. You! Uh, oh, hi, Abner. Sure is pretty day, eh? I always suspicioned you, Hollis. I always did. For what? For trying to lure my poor little girl out alone somewhere, unescorted and unchaperoned. Sneak! Now, Abner, Abner, that, that just ain't so. What? I was just bringing her home. From where? From my house. You see? You see? But Abner, Abner, my pa and little Joe and everybody was there. Pa, will you stop acting so silly? It wasn't Hoss. I wouldn't go out with him. Hoss was just sticking his big fat nose into someone's business. He shouldn't have. Well, if it wasn't Hoss, who was it? Well, Mr. Larkin. Lothario Larkin? You listen to me, Hoss. If that friend of yours comes within 10 miles of my daughter, I'll blow his head out of the county. You hear? You hear? You hear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I hear. I hear. I hear, Abner. Yeah. All right, all right. You get down out of that surrey. I have never been so humiliated in all my born days. I am of age. I'll decide that. You get down here. And you, you remember what I said. <laughs> I'll, I'll, rem I'll remember, Abner, every word. I swear I will. Every word. Yeah. Get up! Ah, oh, oh, Ben. <laughs> I tell you that there ain't no one in this whole wide world can fry up a mess of vittles like that hop sing. Beautiful. <laughs> well, I'm sure he'll be very delighted when I tell him what you said. Lothario? Mm -hmm. How long are you uh, planning on staying around this time? Hmm. Just till the, eh, till the edge sort of wears off, you know? Uh, just how sharp is the edge this time? Well, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm gonna have to give you a fair warning. If you go fooling around Virginia City again, I guarantee you we're gonna have to cut you down for one of those cottonwood trees. Fooling around, Ben? Yep. Oh, Ben. 
fooling around. Well, what would you call it? Well, I'd, I'd call it just being nice to people. You know, uh, being good to folks, uh, practicing the golden rule. Uh, sort of being unto others like you'd uh, have them be unto you. Oh, for heaven's sakes, Lothario. Now, you listen to me. There are folks right here in Virginia City who'd laugh all the way to Boot Hill the day they buried you. Mike Gillis, for one. Why, he swears he'll tear you apart with his bare hands for leaving his Nancy, crying her eyes out of the church. Nancy. <laughs> oh, she was a mighty pretty little girl. Took things too much for granted, though. I, I did feel sorry about that. I, I think I'll just mosey on over there. Now, you ain't gonna mosey nowhere. Lothario, I want some words with you. Oh, Hoss. <laughs> Come on in, Hoss. You must be hungry. No, I ain't hungry. But I'm mad enough to eat nails, that's what I am. Oh, who peeved you, Hoss? You. You peeved me. You dang near got me killed. That's what you done. Well, what happened? Like that Abner Jones like to blew me in half with that shotgun of his. That's what he done. <laughs> He thought you were, were Spark and Meg. He thought and he was... what's so that burn funny? Uh, uh, <laughs> there's nothing funny. There's nothing funny. I think you and Meg are going to be very happy. Joseph, one of these days, huh? Don't fret yourself, Nun Hoss. I'll just amble on over there and explain it to the old fella. <laughs> no, Lothario. No, no. I don't want you to do that. As a matter of fact, I don't want you to set foot off of this Ponderosa. Now, I don't want to seem unhospitable, but I don't even want you going into Virginia City. Do you understand that? Not even on Saturday night? Especially not on Saturday nights. I can feel that, that Ed's starting to get duller already. You, you fellas, you don't like me around here, I guess. I, I might just as well pull on out of here in the morning. Now, now wait a minute, Lothario. We, we didn't mean that. Now, quit talking like that. Sure we like you, and we want you to stay here as long as you like. I mean, you're, you're welcome here. <laughs> oh, well, now, that, that's more like it, Hoss. That's that old Cartwright hospitality that's famous all over the territory. Yes, sir. Oh, Ben, I'm telling you, you've done an elegant job bringing up this big boy of yours. <laughs> yeah, didn't I? Oh. Mm. I had a pretty long day. I guess I better turn in. Uh, I might sleep in a little in the morning. Why has I married gone from my side? Like a flitting beam, sweet Laura Lee. Far from all pleasure torn, sad and alone, how doth my spirit mourn while thou art gone? How like a desert isle Earth seems to me Robbed of thy sunny smile Sweet Laura Lee You, uh, you sing sort of pretty. Uh, I was just tuning up your guitar, Hoss. Ah, uh, hey, man, it's... It's my brother Adams, but... I'm sure he wouldn't mind. Anything on your mind? No, no, not particular. I just heard you down here singing. It sort of sounded sort of sort of lonesome like. Oh, I expect just sitting here in front of the fire looking at it make most anybody lonesome. Yeah. Lothar, you reckon I'm a close enough friend to ask a couple of personal questions? I reckon. Well, Lothar, what makes you tick anyhow? I mean, all the drinking and fighting and carousing around with the women folk and getting in all sorts of trouble. I do got a knack, huh? <laughs> yeah. But the question is, is why do you do it? Well, 
I guess it's just my nature to love, Hoss. Of course, when a fella's fixing to do a little loving, he's got to be prepared to do a little fighting, too. Yeah, but a fella can't love all of them gals. I mean, that just ain't natural. It ain't. Well, no, I mean, that's just like, a, like an old cougar. Faithful to nobody and not an ounce of real love in him, not an ounce. Well, leastwise, when a cougar does go, he, he don't leave no tears, no sadness behind him. Leastwise, like that old cat, you're always running and chasing, ain't you? Lothario, are you chasing after something, or are you running away from something? Is there a Laura Lee? No, oh, maybe. Long time. A lot of miles ago. Something... Something happened to her? Something happened to her, all right. Run into a fancy-talking fella, and he filled her with a pack of sweet talk and big lies, and she run off with him. I ain't never seen her since. So that's it. That's why you're playing the cougar game. You're gonna get back at all the women folk, ain't you? Oh, no, Hoss, that ain't it. Uh, that ain't it at all. It's just that I... Well, I... I keep hoping and hoping that... That maybe someday, in some way, I might run into that same kind of love again. Leastwise, a fella's got to keep trying, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I reckon he has. Well, good night, old cougar. Good night, Hoss. Hey, did you hear that Lothario singing last night? Yeah, he sings pretty good, isn't yeah, he? I'm surprised. What do we have to do today? Great, Paul! Well, I don't know. Paul, he's gone. He's gone. Adam's guitar and all. God burn his Henri hide. It's all my fault for calling him a cougar. Started him thinking all over again. I want you to go out there. I want you to find him, and I want you to bring him back if you have to drag him every inch of the way. And tomorrow, we escort him to Carson City personally. Right. It ain't gonna be easy, Paul. He could be anywhere in the territory. It's for sure he ain't gonna go back to Virginia City and run the risk of getting arrested by Roy. Well, no. you just find him. All right, you go out and help find him. Me? You. Yeah. Come on, yes, Joe, sir. we gotta hurry. That dang Lothario can get in more trouble accidentally than most folks can on purpose. You're right, on. hurry up, hurry up. Him and his friends. Him yes. and his friends. All right, go ahead, go up with it. That was beautiful. Thank you, ma'am. Why did you run away? When you left me, standing in the church, something went out of me. Something warm and beautiful. How could you have done it? How could you? I've been whooping myself ever since, ma'am. Have you, Lothario? Have you? Why did you do it? Uh, that's what I come back for, was, was to explain what happened. What did happen? Uh, I got thinking that a, a fellow like me just ain't good enough for a beautiful girl like you. Well, that's not true. Why, you... Nancy! <sighs> Nancy! It's Pa! Help me down, quick! Nancy! You. I gotta get going. I'll explain later. Oh, no, no, if you touch one hair on Lothario's head, I'll never speak to you again. I ain't gonna touch a hair on his head. I'm gonna break every bone in his back. What you do, I'll, I'll hold my breath. I'll hold my breath forever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You 
take that side of the street over there and I'll take this side. Well, we've been looking for that cougar all day. Well, this is the last place to look. I never figured he'd be fool enough to come into here. It's the last place we can look. You look yourself. I'm gonna go home. I'm tired. I'll raise a hundred. Lothario! <laughs> Put that bottle right up here, Barkey. Come on, belly up to the bar, ladies. I got me a thirst bigger than a bale of smoked oysters. <laughs> Hurry up with that, pour it now. Excuse me, I'm very tired. Now, don't you forget, the past is dead. Or he is. Do you understand? Where have you been? Oh, you know, around <laughs> here and there. <laughs> Lothario! Hoss, compadre! <laughs> Don't you compadre me now. Dad Bernard, I'm sore. How come you to run off any of Hoss, simmer down, simmer down. Have a drink. Here, here. here. I, I don't want no drink. Well, all right, then. <laughs> Check me out. I, I'm going to bed. Hoss, you know, them four walls of yours, well, they just kept closing in on me like a cage they was. It, it was almost like a jail. It sort of cramped my style. A, a fella like me's got the... A fe... Ma'am? Oh, no. No, no, Lothario. That's a married woman. Now, come on. If the sheriff gets you here, you're in trouble. It's an old friend, Hoss. This is different. Ma'am? Ma'am? If it's poker you want, I'm through for the evening. Well, I don't want any poker. Come on, Lothario, you just won't get in trouble. Then what do you want? Is your name Laura? Who are you? Larkin. Lothario Larkin. <laughs> you must be joking. Oh, I ain't joking. And all this time I've been looking forward to meeting you. The great lover, the, the legend of the hinterland. Well, let me give you a piece of advice, mister. Stay out here in the country. You ever get near a civilized woman, she'd laugh at you. Because you're really very funny, Mr. Larkin. Uh, I... I ain't trying to be funny. I just want to talk to you. We have nothing to talk about. And, uh, a word to the wise, Mr. Larkin. Don't try to step up in class. Stay with your saloon girls. They'll talk to anyone with the price of a drink. Good night. You heard what the lady said? <laughs> well, there you are, Larkin. mistake when she named him that. <laughs> shut up. Shut up. <laughs> An old friend, huh? Old friends like that you don't need. Let me tell you something. You've been lucky. Gal's been treating me like that all my life. Ain't made me feel no worse. Come on, let's go home. Get on your feet, Larkin. Now, Mike, wait a minute. He ain't doing nothing except sitting here and having a nice, peaceful drink. Oh, he ain't, ain't he? I caught him out behind the barn this morning, a-courting my daughter. Lothario, you didn't. Yeah, he did. And a couple hours later, he was sparking my daughter. And you know it, Hoss. Now, wait a minute, fellas. There ain't no cause to make a ruckus. Lothario, he, he ain't feeling too good, no how. Well, he's gonna feel a whole lot worse. Fellas! <laughs> fellas! Wait! Come on, Lothario. There ain't but two of them. Fight back! Come on, baby. Throw those old guys out of here and let's get a little party going. <laughs> Come on, Lothario. What's the matter? Are you too tired to fight? Fellers! Dad, burn it. 
Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Snap, burn it. You can see he ain't fighting back. What do you want to do, kill him? That's the idea. All right, Mike, you're going to have to come through me. Wait a minute, Abner. Wait a minute, Abner. Now, wait a minute. Burn it. I'm going to have to hit you, Abner. If you want me to hit you, I'm going to hit you. Hold it. Well, if this ain't a heartwarming little tableau, if I ever did see one. Looks like you gentlemen nuts to have a little difference of opinion. We can straighten that out all over to my place. Come on, you all know where the jail is. Come on, Abner. Oh, I'm surprised at you. When the leading citizens of this town. Mike, I'm surprised at you. And Horse Cartwright. If your pa could only see you now. Come on, you ain't no exception. Don't give me that but face, Ben and Binnis. Go on. You know where it is. And Mr. Locke, you always do seem to brighten up this little old dull town of ours. Now get. And Lothario, you forgot your guitar. His guitar. Man that lives as dangerous as he does ought to take up the harp. I hope you gentlemen slept good. That'll be twenty-five now. Twenty-five? Well, it was worth it. Was it worth it to you, Mike? You're a bandit, Coffee. You! Get out of town before you get yourself killed. Abner, you want to try for the fifty dollars? It might be worth that, too. Uh, come on, Mike. Don't worry, none. Paul will be here after a while to bail us out. I took a good look at myself last night. Does a fellow good to see himself the way he really is sometimes? <laughs> Funny old clown, scarecrow, flopping around, making empty sounds in the wind. <sighs> Tell me something, Hoss. How can a fellow as, as ugly as me fool himself for so long? Oh, dead bird. Lothario, you ain't ugly. You ain't no scarecrow or no clown, neither. That, that woman over there at the saloon, that Laura, that gambling woman, she ain't nothing. She ain't nothing but a tin horn. Don't you say that, Hoss. Don't you never say that. But Lothario, I... Man? I... Well, you boys certainly covered yourselves with glory, didn't you? How much, Roy? Twenty-five dollars a head. Twenty-five? Well, it may seem a mite high, but we're limited on space. Here's your fifty. All right, Hoss. Congratulations. You too, Lothario. I ain't going. You give me thirty days, and I'm going to sit right here and serve him. What's the matter with him? He ain't been himself, Paul. Come on, Lothario. We'll, we'll go get us some breakfast, and then you'll feel a heap better. Come on. No, sir. I know my rights. I'm going to stay right here. Now, you give me any more trouble, and I'll give you 60 days. Thank you, Sheriff. Well, he's not going to give you any trouble staying in there. You want a bed? Look, Lothario, your fine has been paid. Any time you want to leave, you're free to leave. Come on, Hoss. Yes, sir. What happened? Oh, he's been like that ever since he had that run-in with that Laura over there at the Sazerac. Man, she lit into him something fierce. Yeah, well, anybody plays around as much as that Lothario does is bound to get chewed out once in a while. Oh, I got a feeling this is different. I got a notion that this is the same Laura he loved. Yeah. Well, anyway, it's none of our business. Look, I'm going to get me a shave and a haircut. You coming? No, Paul, wait a minute. If it is the same Laura, and they did once know each other, and sort of liked each other. Oh, she's a married woman, isn't she? Well, yeah, You but... know she is. When it comes to men and women folk, it's a wise man that doesn't stick his nose where it doesn't belong. Yeah. Anyhow, I'd like to know if that's the same Laura he sings about in that song. Uh -huh. See you. It broke my heart the way she ripped into him, Hoss. Yeah. Hey, look, Francine. You being a woman, maybe you could tell me why. 
Why'd she light into him so anyhow? Well, there's two reasons that'll make a woman cut up a man pretty bad, Hoss. She either hates him or she loves him and can't have him. And something tells me she don't hate him. Yeah, me too. That burned if, if she just wasn't married. She ain't. She ain't? She ain't married? How do you know that? Well, like you say, Hoss, me being a woman, I'm nosy. And it kind of bothered me when I saw she was living in one room and he was living in another. So I asked her. Francine, I, I just love a nosy gal. Excuse me. I bet I could get in a lot of trouble sticking his nose where it don't belong. Yeah, Paul told me that. As a matter of fact, that's exactly what Paul told me. Come in. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. It's all right. Come in. What do you want? I want to. I want to talk to you about a about a mutual friend of ours, Lothario Larkin. That that clown who was here last night. Ma'am, he uh, he ain't no clown, and you know it. He's very much in love with you. You out of your mind. I never saw the man before last night. Ever since you ran away from him, he's been searching for you. You or somebody like you. Grieving his heart out. Will you get out of here? Not until you promise you'll come over and tell him that you didn't mean all those things you said to him the other night. I mean the whole world to him. I told you, I never saw the man before. Now get out of here and leave me alone. Yes, ma'am. I reckon I did make a mistake at that. I'm sorry to have been any bother to you, ma'am. And I'm sorry you're not that other Laura, too. I'm sorry for both of you. I'm sorry, too. That's the girl he's looking for, Hoss. She died a long time ago. What you're looking at now is just a cheap imitation. I'm... I'm leaving today, Hoss. Just tell him he made a mistake. No, ma'am. You're the one that's making a mistake, Laura. Not him. The girl in this picture's still very much alive. All you got to do is wash some of that paint off your face and put on a nice, simple dress like this one. You wouldn't be a bit different than you were when you were both together. Come on. Like I said, I'll be waiting for you downstairs. If you know what's good for you, you'll get out of town and keep going, Hoss. Found you in my wife's bedroom. That's legal grounds for killing, Hoss. That's right. If she were really your wife. The man's got a point. Ma'am, I'll see you down. <clears throat> like I said, ma'am, I'll meet you downstairs. Kill him, so help me, I'll kill him. You'll have no cause to kill anyone, Johnny. We're going away today. Together. Hi, Roy. 
Hey, sorry, come on. Come on, she still loves you, I know she does. Now, you gotta tell her right now, cause she's leaving town. This is your last chance. Come I on. don't feel nothing. Come on, come on here. No. Hey, Sheriff, this fellow's trying to bust me out of jail. That's against the law, ain't it? Oh, for gosh sakes, Roy, will you tell him? Oh, sorry, well, didn't you hear me? I heard you, Hoss. Of all the hard-headed, can taker, stubborn jackasses I ever run into in my life, you take the blue ribbon. All right. All right. Fine, Sheriff, you turned out to be. You can't even bust a man out of your own jail. I heard you, Horace. I heard you. I want you to go over to the preacher's house. Get him. There's going to be a wedding. Lothario is going to get married. Oh, I said, I'm getting him. Lothario's getting married? Yep. It's going to be a church wedding. Get the preacher. A hurry. church wedding? Ain't that nice? Hey, Dave, Dave, hurry up and finish me up here. Been over to see him, haven't you? No, I. I didn't see him. You're a liar. I told you I didn't see him. I said I want the truth. All right, Johnny, I've had about all of you I'm going to put up with. Hadn't been for you, there wouldn't have been no trouble in the first place. Now, you get out of here before I break you in half. Get. Look out, horse. Johnny, you had enough?
I don't want to see him. Ma'am. Ah, oh. oh, come on, let me out of here. Please let me out. I want out! Uh, Roy, what do you say, me and you step outside where it's a little more peaceful and quiet, huh? I huh? Oh, yeah, it is kind of noisy in there, isn't it? Yeah. Please let me out. What did you do that they throwed you in here? I didn't do anything. That, that big lump just picked me up and... Oh, horse. Oh, you're wondering about the door. They wouldn't lock me up. Don't you worry. I'll get him to let you ride out. You haven't changed a bit, Lothario. Oh, I expect not. Same funny old clown, funny old lover. I didn't mean those things. You didn't? Hmm. You look tired. Well... Been a lot of years, a lot of miles. And a lot of women. If, um, you don't mind my saying so, ma'am, you're, you're more beautiful than ever. It's, it's time you knew the truth about me, so you can be rid of me once and for all. I... I, I'm not at all the girl you knew a long time ago. There have been too many towns, too many saloons, too many back rooms. But never a wedding. You mean you ain't never been married? I'm leaving today, Lothario. Now that you know, you can forget all about that girl you once loved. Oh, no, ma'am. You, you was right about one thing. You ain't nothing like that little girl. She didn't know nothing about living or loving or sharing. She was just a little girl. But you're a grown-up woman. I love that little girl, but I could just worship that woman if she let me. Don't you see? We're, we're sort of like two peas in a pod, you and me. We, we've done about everything there is to do, and... We've been about every place there is to go. Except home. You mean that fella never married you? Excuse me, man. to the powers vested in me, I do hereby declare my intentions of joining these two together in the holy bonds of matrimony. 
If anyone objects, let him speak now or forever hold his peace. Well, I do. You shut up! Go ahead, Reverend. Do you, Laura, take this man to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. And do you, Lothario, take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife? Yes, I do. Uh, ring. So be it. I do hereby pronounce you man and wife. So, compadre, I'll be seeing you. Yeah, well, uh, don't rush. Don't rush with her. You just have a nice honeymoon. All right. So long, Ben. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good time. The end of an era, Haas. That's what it is. Yep. And the end of a cougar, huh, Paul? <laughs> you know, we're going to miss that little fella. Yeah, well, you come along with me, Cupid, because the champagne's on you. All right.